So the the cops, this cop talks about conditional agreements and to enter the courthouse and he will not refer me to where the source of that is. It's not presented at the entrance. And those three deputies, three of them, on a, a non-busy day, non-busy hour, three of them, they got even uh, an x-ray scanner, which is supposed to uh, reduce the workload. Yet still, three of them, none of them were, uh, and I forget his name, the cop who came up to me to kick me out over my camera. They called a fourth guy to do that. Because they couldn't do it themselves. They saw that I had a camera. They knew it. They saw the camera. They saw that it was running. And it didn't say anything. Like I took them by surprise? Unlikely. So who's writing these conditional agreements? Because we got elected officials who write the Michigan statutes. And it takes elected officials to write the rules and the laws. So... There must be some kind of an elected situation, elected group of people who are uh, deciding on these conditions, if they even exist. Because it's really hard to, to tell uh, what, what is real and what isn't without being able to verify. And this, this place is in shambles. This sheriff's uh, court, the courthouse area. They don't have a fire extinguisher. And they're more concerned about me with a camera. Because they don't want this kind of stuff exposed. They don't want people presenting the corruption. The money's going to waste elsewhere the mother there's they're funneling the money i think they're probably funneling the money these look like prison uh, the, the prison cells the way the windows are set up i mean it's all it's all in, in in pretty bad shape around here and they get mad at the people with cameras you can see the overgrown weeds this was some kind of a sheriff jail situation and they've moved, and I don't know if they've moved into the courthouse more. Oh, it's not gonna come in. There we go. Is it gonna move? Did they, did they move into the courthouse more? Oh my God, this is behind the courthouse. Old TVs. Wow. This is the bay where they'd bring the, this is the bay that they'd bring the, the, the inmates and then take them over to the, the jail cells. Broken window. Why they haven't secured this building? I mean, it's getting vandalized. Sheriff Delta County. Oh, and there's a front entrance. I don't even know if, I did see visitors. Okay, so the door is locked. They got, they're showing signs of a lot of decay here. And all they do is continue to harass people instead of fixing their decay behind the courthouse. That looks like a cop car. Yeah, this is probably out of commission. That's all along the waterfront. This is the, the actual courthouse, which closes, has very short hours, like eight to four. Very short hours at this courthouse. Very, and it seems like a very small one. It's only one story, two stories in one, in this section. 
doors propped open to the sheriff's office. The old sheriff's office. Overgrown weeds. See, I, I think this is a sign that they got some real problems. Some real problems going on. Looks messed up in there. Office closed. They've relocated. Whoa! Spider just fell down. Has moved to 2800 College. And it's a sheriff's office. I'm guessing that the inner door is probably locked. Yeah, this this looks like it's probably yeah, they got this locked. Ring or bell? And then you press the button. Once again, they remind us. This is an old, the old sheriff's office that sits behind the courthouse. And they, they just trash it. Pamphlets all over, like people have come in and just started trashing this old sheriff's office. What am I stepping on? Magazines? It's just uh, a piece of junk. So who writes these conditional uh, entrance? Is it the judges? Is it is it uh, a, uh, a group of judges who sit down and decide on the conditions and when i looked up conditions it said something about contractors about uh how contractors will make conditions or just whatever contracts the people get into uh, they'll have conditions for that and those will be conditions that they agree on that both parties know about clearly that they're very aware of but I, uh, I'm not aware of these conditions for the courthouse. It's not written in the statutes. <clears throat> and if you're going to make conditions, you got to make them very clear. I looked on the website and I, I didn't see any links that said conditions upon entrance. This looks more like prison cells here too. <laughs> There's just nothing except for what the cops tell you and how much can you trust how they interpret the law. I mean, a good cop would at least tell me where I could find these conditions. And it says, and I think it was ChatGPT that told me that I could find the conditions. That's a big spider. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Have we seen in there? Does it show nothing? Not easy to see. <clears throat> it's so bothersome to have to deal with phantom laws by dirty cops who just use intimidation to, to push us around, to step on my feet. I felt them step on the back of my foot, breathing down my neck, breathing heavy down my neck. <clears throat> All over a camera. And I was trying to find out more about the individual uh, who I saw on Delete Laws is um uh on his on, on one of his videos and usually i could go down to i can come down to the courthouse civilly in a friendly manner and just go to the computer and 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 type in the name but i can't hear and why don't they have computers because they're corrupt they're funneling the money else uh, and putting it in their pockets or something because computers are not that expensive even Louisiana even little Nat Natchitoches Louisiana is able to afford computers or at least one computer they had 
they have two but only one computer works even they can afford it and you'd think this area is as in pretty good shape as it looks would be able to have some technological uh, abilities to provide a computer because I mean you can go on the, your own computer at home to look to see records but they're limited you can't read the, all the the exact motions you got to come to the courthouse to do but instead here they're saying you got to pay twenty dollars to do a backgrounds a background records check let me get that the background background records check is 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 how Michigan does it or at least this one does it that's stupid and it's, they don't say it say it cost twenty dollars she just told me it's twenty dollars I'm not looking for a background records check I'm looking just to to see the details of a court case that's supposed to be public but not I shouldn't have to be paying for it I'm not asking for anything to be printed out I just want to look at the information how after all these years after you know computers were invented in the 90s okay and a lot of establishments have gone to computers figured it out yet this this uh, organization has not figured it out <clears throat> Yeah, nobody's in there now. <clears throat> Closes uh, at 4. And it's dusty. Look how dusty that is. I'll put clean. Clean. See how they don't even have a cleaning maid to clean that. It's just all dust. They don't have fire extinguishers. They got that old sheriff's department that's beat up and falling apart. I mean, and then they just intimidate people after that. So there's something wrong in Delta County. I could see why that guy got convic convicted. He got convicted by a jury of his own peers. His own, his own neighbors called him guilty for recording the cops who very much need to be recorded because of the way they're treating people it's very concerning at least they're mowing the grass here they got enough money to mow the grass <clears throat>